Hey everyone, and welcome to Keep Drawing. Today we're gonna to learn to draw a football just like this one. So let's get started. Go ahead and draw a line that goes from this end to this end, and it's kind of a hill, kind of a curved line, and it's gonna reach its highest point right here in the center. And this line doesn't have to be perfect the first time around because I'm gonna outline it darker, which will hide any of these little wobbles in here. The next thing I'm going to do is draw the curved bottom line of the football. And so now we have the shape that's kind of like an eye. But if you look carefully, the top half is not quite as wide as the bottom half. It's a little bit narrower up here. So the next thing I'm going to do is put on the white stripes on either end of the ball. And notice I make these lines curve in the same way that the ball does. Okay, my next step is the line that goes right down the center of the football where the seam is. And it's going to cross right over this white line. Next, I'm going to um, go ahead and draw the area where the seams and the stitches are. And to do that, I'm gonna place one notch here and another here. And this is just kind of a stitched outline that goes around the strings. So I'm gonna put a line like this on the bottom and one just like it on the top. Okay, now that I have that outline, I'm gonna work on the strings inside. So I'm gonna have two on either end that look like this. You can see they kind of point away in opposite directions. And then I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five, and then six more in between those two on the end. After that, I'm going to make a seam that goes right in between each string. And it just follows and continues the same line that goes straight down the middle. Just like this. Okay, for my next step, I'm going to draw the two strings that go across. Underneath these other ones that I drew first. We're gonna stop right there and put another one up above. For my next step, I'm gonna add a little bit of texture. If you look carefully at a football or you hold one, you'll notice that it has really tiny bumps to give you a little bit of grip. And so I'm gonna scatter some of these little dots to show where those bumps are. but I'm gonna add more down here to show that this area is shaded and that the light is coming from the top. Okay, next I'm gonna draw a line to show a grass field that the ball is sitting on. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of cross hatching with these curved lines. Actually, you don't have to cross hatch. You can just um, draw them right next to each other like this. And once again, they bend just like the lines for the stripes bend to show the roundness of the ball.
Now, once I've done that, I'll add a few more dots. And now uh, for some shadow. So right underneath here, I draw a line like this, where it's sitting on the grass, and I'm just gonna color that in. All the way across. Now I'm gonna come back to the top of the ball and just kind of clean up this line right here so it's a little smoother. And doing nice thick black outlines is a great way to do that. It also makes the ball stand out. Okay, now another detail to make the ball look a little more realistic is if you ever look at the end of a football, you'll notice that it's not perfectly sharp. There's just a tiny little dent right here on either end where the two seams come together. So just make a slight little dent right there like that. And now it's time to add a little bit more shadow here where the grass is. Now, once you've finished those steps, you're done drawing your football. Let's take a look at our finished version again. And you can see that I did a sky for the background and the green grass and just kind of added some, some darker shading with colored pencil. You can do the same thing with markers or crayons just to make the ball stand out and look a little better. Uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please go ahead and hit like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.